Welcome back to Marbella now. My name is Nicole King and I'm so excited that I'm going to take you now over to the Guadalmino shopping center because Lara has opened up Soho Market. She is the wonderful owner of Evento Shop which decorates some of our most emblematic restaurants for all their parties, celebrations, Christmas. She does all the different events like um, baby showers and weddings, anything you can think of. But obviously through COVID found that there were no events and had to reinvent herself and reinvent herself she has the place is amazing some 14 businesses joining together to create what marbella was been waiting for it's been done in style and i have to say i thoroughly enjoyed going there and i can't wait to go back to try the crepes and all the other things are gone and just do a little bit of shopping so let's go over to soho market in guadalmina to hook up with lara and find out more about the place Let the 
options and other little shop ideas inside an Invento shop called Soho Market here in Guadalmina. This is amazing, Lara. I love it. I love where you had before, but this is out of the park. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Nicole. Yeah, it's a new alternative. Obviously, my event shop stopped uh, any activity in March after the lockdown. So we lost 98% of the business and everything was completely stopped and it was horrible and we had to move premises, we had to leave the shop and I just needed to reinvent myself. I didn't know what to do and um, suddenly I woke up one morning and I thought why don't we unite forces between everybody that is having a hard time um, and then we can maybe find a place where all the shops that are closing down because of the COVID uh, they need a space that is cheaper and more accessible and between all of us we can join the forces of Instagram and everything. So I talked to a few friends who were having the same problem as me and they said yeah we'll join you if you do it and here we are. Now we are 14 shops. Amazing yeah. and the selection is lovely. Yes. You've got baby things, you've got homeware. Tell us a little bit about the selection of and the variety. Yes, it's a completely different shop one from each other because we are trying to complement each other instead of trying to make um, you know, two items of the same kind of category. So the client has to choose between two. So this way, what, what we have done is there is only one shop for children's clothes, one shop for women's clothes, one shop for party clothes, uh, accessorized jewelry. You can do your nails and express makeup. You can have takeaway food. You can have basically any anything you need for your Christmas shopping. And the flower shop, this is really cool. Yeah, the flower shop is, used to be part of my old company. We haven't closed a vendor shop. We're just on hold waiting there, for- Till some eventos. Yes, <laughs> until we can start doing events again. So we know about flowers a lot. So I think every Soho needs to have a flower shop with fresh flowers every day. And people, are, clients are coming to order them. Well, they are beautiful, and I think having them so to hand yeah. is a very good instigation to then yeah. take some home. Yes, they the, can order as well the Christmas centerpieces. If you're having Christmas dinner at your home, you, they come here and they order a special one made just for them, and they can pick it up. I love the food truck, so food you can truck, also sit here and eat it. as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do creperie. I bought the food truck into an event company as well that uh, stopped activity. It was a little bit tricky to put it inside the shop. We had to take all the window shop out, put the caravan inside the food truck, and then we convert it into a kitchen. So it's a lovely crepery with savory and sweet scraps, uh, hot dogs. The Soho hot dog is amazing with kimchi and guacamole is really nice. And also we have the takeaway at the back so you can if you don't like crepes or anything of the food truck, you can order food at the back and the takeaway. What kind of food and is served there? They change the menu on a daily basis. It's fresh food. Uh, it's also someone that has reinvented themselves. She had a catering for events and weddings. And in the meantime, this market recovers. She's doing takeaway food. So from lasagna to... I saw a delicious tortilla. <laughs> tortilla, Spanish omelet, anything like that. So, yeah. And the uh, location, all I can say is chapeau. <laughs> they you. say the three Ps, position, 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 yeah, next yeah. to Iceland, next to Supersol in Guadalmina Shopping Centre. Exactly. There is plenty of parking space. We have a lovely terrace. At the moment, it's full of people enjoying the sun. So the location is, is brilliant. Yeah. 
Are you looking for any more uh, people to take, uh, get involved? It looks very full to me. Yes, we, we have people ringing and ringing. I would love to give a space to everybody, but it's, dif it's difficult. We are doing a waiting list. Um, we have more space downstairs. At the moment, there is an arcade for children. So if you want to do your nails or your makeup or enjoy a glass of Prosecco, you can have the kids downstairs playing. And there are two PlayStations one football table and an old arcade machine. So downstairs there is a little bit more room, maybe to do a few more shops, but we need, we need to check and see we make, to make sure that it's all nice, how all stays the same kind of concept. Because so, this is still very new, it's a question of days. Yeah, exactly, we, we've been open only for four days. So we're really pleased with the support we're receiving from people. Everybody's coming to support the local shops. All these people have closed, in, and some of them, they haven't made any income since March. So it's really, really nice to see how many people are coming to support us. And I'm really happy for them and for all of us. So yeah, bit by bit, then maybe we'll, we will do downstairs as well. And what are the timetables at the moment? We are gonna open all December from Monday till Sunday. Uh, during the week, uh, we are going to open between 9, 9.30, so quite early, so you can have breakfast. At weekends, probably it's going to be between 10 and 11. So we're just going with the flow because it's, it's just a starting. So, but yeah, every day we want to be open. Well, I can only but wish you all the most amazing much. success. It looks like it's going to be a success. You have all the ingredients. Thank you. Good management. Thank you, Nicole. A good heart, <laughs> lots of enthusiasm and good product. Yeah. Soho Market. Get yourselves down here. We're all thinking about Christmas and undoubtedly presents. I can only but plea that you buy your presents in charity shops from our local businesses and if you do go out that you go to um, the local businesses and support them they really do need our support undoubtedly as Spectrum says in their advertising if we don't use them we will lose them when I walk out and about Marbella I think there's another business closed every single day it is up to us local residents to use our local businesses please don't go to the big shops or buy online when you can buy something locally and I can but encourage you to go to our charity shops I got this for three euros in the butterfly children or the Kudeka shop I'm not sure which but they all have great stuff we live in a great area where people have lots of money and they often give away things they've never even used remember also dine and donate with triple a if you go to one of the participating businesses and you say that you've come to dine and donate for triple a they will give a percentage of your bill to the animal rescue center likewise zero hero partners are awarding the designated driver with free soft drinks always good to go to local businesses but particularly those who are involved with our local community well that's it for me for today take care of yourselves see you tomorrow
COVID-19 has hit many local families hard and Christmas is looking bleak. 40 to 50% more people are struggling to feed their families without the help of the Red Cross. Many of the families in need have never needed our help before, but they need our help today more than ever. If you can, please consider donating and helping our Red Cross campaign. No amount is too small to make a big change. Thank you. to love again. Please do follow our Zero Hero website, sign up for our newsletter, and above all, support those venues that are supporting us with free soft drinks for the designated driver. In the website, you have a full listing that takes you from Guadalmina to Elviria, up to Benavis, Estepona. It's so nice to have so many businesses that really do care about us. And at the moment, we have to care about them too. Times are precarious, and those of us who can afford to go out Please support those businesses that really do need it more than ever. Buy local, shop local, just do anything you can to help people get through. And if you can help a neighbour, keep an eye on the elderly, you know, just be nice to each other. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for some more of what's going on in Marbella now. Some arrows shoot straight to your heart.